A disturbing story in St. John's County caught on surveillance video. A man breaks into the St. Augustine alligator farm after hours and is caught on video jumping into a crocodile exhibit. He stayed there for hours and police pieced it all together this morning when a woman called 911 to report a man walking around in his boxers in a neighborhood near the alligator farm. And when they found him, he told them he'd been bitten by a wild crocodile. About 10 minutes ago, we received this mug shot of the man, Brandon Hatfield, from a prior arrest in September. Just last Friday, he pleaded guilty to car theft and drug possession and was sentenced to probation. Now, to give you an idea of what the crocodile pit looks like, these are photos inside. There are three crocodiles in the exhibit. All of them are at least 12 feet long. News 4 Jack's reporter Zach Lashway has been speaking with a manager at the alligator farm and joins us live from St. John's County. Zach, how badly was he hurt? Any word how he's doing now? Mary, tonight Hatfield is said to be in stable condition. Now, as for how this all happened, that still remains a mystery. Park officials believe he scaled several barriers, including a barbed wire fence, to get into the park. Watch, you'll see he'll get under the shore. This surveillance video tells of a jaw-dropping story. Police have yet to identify this man, but tonight he's lucky to be alive after breaking into the St. Augustine alligator farm and jumping into the oasis on the Nile crocodile exhibit. There's going to be a croc that's going to come right behind him that's noticing you'll see its glowing eyes. And when one dip isn't enough. On top of the statue, it jumps off into the tree. This is when he comes into contact with one of the three 12-foot crocodiles. And watch right behind him, and there's a croc attack, try to attack him. You saw that. The croc will flip him and a little death roll in a moment right there. So what he does is he tries to kick it with his foot. The croc thrashes him around for a bit, then lets him go. But still, the man comes back for another round. Black shadow is the croc? Uh-huh. Right below him, about four feet below him, five feet. And falls into the tree on there and... And he's bleeding pretty good at this point. Finally, the man appears to have had enough, but doesn't just walk away. Instead, travels this fence as if it's a balance beam. The thing is, he could have easily stepped down, as I showed you guys out there on that ledge, but he doesn't realize it. This is that fence the man scooted across. This right here, his blood. 12 feet below, more than 200 alligators. The park's management is stunned. It's a bizarre story. In 125 years, we've never had somebody try to go swimming with our crocodiles, and we hope it never happens again. Again, within the past 20 minutes, police have identified this man as Brandon Hatfield. He was transported to Flagler Hospital, where he's being tr uh, treated for lacerations to his foot. Now, ironically, one of the tips that connected the dots for police, a pair of croc shoes found in that crocodile exhibit, allegedly worn by Hatfield. In St. Augustine, I'm Zach Lashway, Channel 4, the local station. Zach, being that he trespassed after hours, will he be charged? Again, Mary, we are learning that he has just been charged with burglary, criminal mischief, and violation of probation. Now, once he is treated and medically discharged from the hospital, he will be transported to St. John's County Jail. He was arrested in September for car theft. We're just learning that it was also uh, drug possession related and criminal mischief. He just pleaded guilty on Friday and was sentenced to two years probation. All right, Zach Lajway reporting to us live from St. Augustine. Thank you, Zach.